undoubtedly one of the greatest features to be ported across from Logic Pro and GarageBand on Mac. The drummer allows you to quickly and easily add a living, breathing rhythm section to your projects. With dozens of drummers that play in a variety of different genres and almost infinite scope for customization, the drummer feature is amazing. Here's how it works. You can find the drummer in GarageBand's sound browser. Note that while you can select between acoustic, electronic and percussion flavoured drummers from the sound browser, you can change this at any time from within the drummer interface, so don't sweat the decision right now. It's dead easy to find your way around the interface and start creating your beat. At the top, you'll see the drummer region that has been created for you. Below that is the currently selected drummer. The default acoustic drummer is good old Kyle, but you can swap him out for another virtual drummer by tapping on his portrait. Here, you can choose from different drummer presets. Doing so will change the pattern in your drummer region. The XY pad lets you adjust the loudness and complexity of your selected drummer region in real time. The swing menu lets you change the swing value, i.e. the amount of swaggery, groovy goodness your drummer will play in real time. You can tap to select or deselect specific pieces of your drummer's kit to decide whether or not they'll be present in your selected region's pattern. You can choose different patterns for specific pieces of your drummer's kit here. And you can increase or decrease the amount of fills your drummer will play with this slider. That's the basic lay of the land when it comes to the drummer interface. Let's take a closer look at each individual section. As of right now, there are 28 drummers to choose from. 15 acoustic drummers who play in four different genres, rock, alternative, songwriter and R&B. Ten electronic drummers who play in the electronic, hip-hop and alternative genres. And three percussion drummers. Apple add new content, including new drummers and kits, to GarageBand on a regular basis via the sound library, so keep an eye out for more drummers being added in the future. Bear in mind you can only have one drummer loaded per drummer track, though your project can include two drummer tracks at the same time if you want to mix things up a bit. Before we go any further, if you're finding this video helpful, I would love it if you gave that like button a wee. I really appreciate it. You can scroll through the preset list here to change the pattern your drummer will play. This also changes the pattern in any selected drum regions. Just tap the play button to hear the currently selected preset. Using the XY pad you can adjust the loudness and complexity of the pattern in your drummer regions. These changes happen in real time on drummer regions that you currently have selected. So I can make the current pattern really simple and loud. Or I can make it quieter and complex.
or I can set it to somewhere in between. With the XY pad, you have the ability to really make your otherwise stock drummer pattern more unique. By tapping on the pieces of the drum kit, you can choose whether or not your drummer will play them during the selected pattern. So if I feel like adding some shaker action to this pattern, I just need to tap on the shaker icon to add it to the currently selected drummer region during playback. Same goes for pieces of an acoustic drum kit as well. If I want this drummer to play the right cymbal instead of the hi-hats, I just need to tap the cymbal icon on the kit here. You get the idea. You can adjust the pattern played by these individual sections of the drum kit as well. In this kit, I have five percussion patterns to choose from. five shaker and hi-hat patterns, and five kick and snare patterns available. The customization options available to you will vary depending on whether you're working with an acoustic, electronic, or percussion drummer. You can adjust the swing value by tapping on the swing button and selecting a value from the pop-up menu. The fill slider adjusts the amount of fancy stuff your drummer will insert into their performance. Cranking it all the way up will turn your drummer into a flashy show off. Dialing things down a bit results in a more restrained low key performance. A drummer region will be added to your project automatically. You can cut, loop and resize it the same way you would any other region. And if you're starting your project with a drummer region, you can copy and paste it into any sections you create. Or if you set your sections to automatic, you can copy and paste to whatever length or time you need. You can also drag the ends of a drummer region to resize it as you would any other region. So that's how to get up and running with GarageBand's drummer track. Here's a few extra tips to help take your rhythm sections to the next level. Using the fill slider to add some personality to your drummer's performance is a great way to keep things sounding as natural as possible. You may not want your drummer slotting elaborate fills into the performance every two seconds though. A good way around this is to use the split function to create a smaller region at the point in the project where you want your drummer to play a fill, just before a vocal comes in or before the chorus or whatever. Make sure the appropriate drummer region is selected, then move the playhead to where you want the fill to come in. Tap on the region to bring up your editing options, select split from the menu and cut to separate your region into two. Now, if you select the larger region and turn the fill slider way down, then select your new mini region and turn the slider way up, your drummer will put a fill right where you want it and nowhere else. Plus, 
just by making small adjustments to the fill slider, you can radically alter the fill that your drummer plays. So this is a great way to make sure your garage band project sounds like no one else's. You can have the kick and snare portions of your drummer track follow the rhythmic groove of another track in your project. Select your drummer region, then swipe the follow switch to turn it on. Choose a track from the pop-up menu that appears and it's as easy as that. Your drummer will now take the lead rhythm wise from another track in your project. The drummer is a great way to build a banging rhythm track for your projects. If you'd rather have a bit more fine control over your project's rhythm sections, then watch this video next, where I take a closer look at another one of GarageBand's excellent rhythm making options. <laughs>